Get out of here. Surrounded by death and danger. Oh well, yeah, I built one bed. I built one to bed, but you see, you see, I got freaking uh murderized. And so now I can't use the bed. It's surrounded by wolves and thylas. It's not nice. Can I, can I just get up this cliff, please? Please? Please, can I get up this cliff? Please? Please. Let me, let me up this cliff. Ooh. The heck was that? Kind of nightmare fuel inducing roar. Listen, homie, I just, I just need to get up here. I just need to get up here. Okay, you sound really freaking scary. I'm not sure if I want to be up there anymore. You know exactly who's around it with, with dogs and cats. You know exactly who's. Around Thylas aren't even cats! They're marsupials! Hey, um... Like, I either take my chances with the raptors down here, or... Boing. I forget who Thylas are actually the ancestors to, but they're not felines. Uh, but, ah! Uh, come on. Close enough for government work. Uh, man, can't get up here. Gosh darn it. Fine, run somewhere else. Come on, get up the hill. Grass is so freaking tall. So tall. I hear a drop. But I don't see it. Oh. Up on the cliff I can't climb on. I am surrounded by dodos and unconscious. Oh no. <laughs> Were you just trying to see who would win that fight? Like, what was the reasoning there? Like, here's some dodos to protect you, but on the same hand, <laughs> here's some monkeys to throw grenades at you. Where's the logic? Where's the logic? Oh, I don't have anything now. I'm- I'm- I'm dead. I have been, uh, reborn. Oh my goodness. 
the sea! Y'all are chaotic bunch of animals. God to your weapon, what is it? Oh boy, we got a freaking sniper rifle. Let's go. I don't think these guys can do much, but we'll give it a shot. Hey, <laughs> hey. Let's see. No, they they do quite a bit. I take that back. This one does. This one does good damage. This one very very damage. <laughs> Hello, Carbonimus. I wonder if I could take a Giga on with this. I don't think I could, but <laughs> we can try to find one if I can actually make it there. You got a PlayStation ad? No! Not the PlayStation. It shouldn't be every five to ten minutes. It's currently Twitch has them set for forty minutes. I trying not to have that happen. I try to have them like an hour out. Oh, hello. But Twitch says, "Screw you and your preferences." We're gonna have one every 40 minutes. Okay. Guess I'm stuck with one every 40 minutes. Where's that Alpha Raptor? I saw you. Got him! What? <laughs> Why, thank you! I really appreciate this over after! <laughs> You'll be really helpful! Welcome to the game, Sir Drake Wellington! <laughs> Dead, that's what. <laughs> right. A little bit farther here. Loot the alpha. Oh, that's true. Uh, I already jumped over the rock, though. It's okay. We'll loot the next one we find. Ah uh, yes, the boss fight I'm definitely gonna do right now. You know, I considered putting boss arenas as the uh, as one of the redeemables, but I was like, no, <laughs> that's way too much power that I'm just never going to compete with. Okay, but I literally can't make that jump. <laughs> I think it's kind of dumb that I take damage for distance as well as uh, falling. I don't know if it's just this uh, velocity thing, but it does annoy me a little bit. I don't have anything. So that marker there—that's actually from—that's actually from, that's actually from uh, 
My official server. That's not like I don't actually have anything there. I don't want to the kitties. I don't want to. I don't want to go to that bed. That bed is cursed now. It's it's ruined. You've ruined it. That is the cursed bed. If I could rename it right now, it would be called the cursed bed. Ooh, I hear a Rex. I don't want to go that way. I love how they redid the ruins as well. They're super cool now. I wish they counted as buildable foundations, just so I didn't have to ruin them with foundations on top, but it is super cool. How they look now. Oh, I hate you. You're going down. Therese and me have a long-standing feud. So I think fairies have a feud with everybody. Alright, in about 13 minutes we're going to try to get onto the official servers and do some last minute preparations for rates. As the... We have about an hour and a half before the stream starts. And then we'll return to goofing off on this if I end up crashing. Can save up your points. Hey! Oh my goodness, I'm being yeeted everywhere. Ah! Where am I? That, that sound is gonna give me trauma in, in no time flat, but thank you for the healing runes. <laughs> oh, I lost Sir Drake Wellington. <laughs> My overraptor's gone. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I think we're by one of the mountains. Oh. These guys are actually legitimately so much scarier now that the <laughs> lag is not here to stop them. So this is one of the mountains for sure. Not sure. Okay, so this is the middle mountain. This one has this one has a giga spawn and a Karcher spawn. And there's a happy little tree that lives right here. <laughs> All three of you use happy little trees. Oh goodness. Oh, very shiny. I don't have any tools though, so this is gonna take a minute. Thank you for the tools. Oh goodness, that would have taken me forever. I think teleport to safety only works if I'm actively being attacked. Oh no! <laughs> Just pooping everywhere. Thank you for giving me incredible diarrhea. Just... Oh my god, I'm like legitimately flying up. Ah! That's dangerous. Alright, I need to find some food. 
Oh, a safety pillar. I don't have a safety pillar. That is correct. Oh my goodness, let me out of here! Let me out! Oh my god, did this thing just respawn? No. Some food is some food, I'll take it. That's true. Two two tree layers did spawn, you're correct. Okay. <laughs> I don't need Polly at this moment, but I appreciate the Penguin Club. I just need a tree that leads outside. I have so much dye, oh my god. I don't have- I- I- I'm gonna have to turn that one off because I don't have a safety pillar set up, so... Once I do have one, that'll work, but... Uh, teleport to safety doesn't work, obviously. Polly's not good food, though. I'll eat the raw meat sooner than I'll eat the Polly. Come on! Break, tree, break! Ah! <laughs> why, you, why you do me like that? I'm trying to escape the trees! Freaking... I can't... Move! Let me out! I'm free! Kind of! Ah! Oh, it's water. Um, is it water with the way out? <laughs> Perfect. I'm free at last. Look at the happy trees. I'm not gonna break all of them right now. <laughs> But there are a lot of them. <laughs> Maybe there's a happy little tree that lives. <laughs> why you got why you gotta do me like that? I just broke free. Ah! <laughs> Bro made a death arena and then filled it with hell spawn. I thought we were friends, Austin! How could you do this to me? Fine, we'll use my curse spin. Yup, this is just as cursed as I remember it! What the heck is that? That's a Danosuchus! No! Let me out of here! Please, they're not fast. They're hungry, chonky boys. But they're not fast. Oh, I think I'm kind of like glitched into the floor. Ooh. Oh. Come on. Go. Boing. 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 Maybe there's a happy little tree that lives right here. <laughs> you guys are evil. Uh, no, I'm not gonna be able to get my sniper bag. You see where I'm stuck right now? I'm surrounded by paint trees. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the axe to let me get out of the paint trees. <laughs> Kalis. I forgot you- I forgot you were definitely a point farmer for a while. 
I was like, man, you were just buying all the expensive stuff. Luckily, landmines actually give me a chance and don't chase me. But I don't know where they are. Oh, there's one. Yeah, that one works because that one's not uh, a safety pillar related. But now I'm almost dead again. Sad. We'll never make it to the center of the island at this rate. This is why I'm just not building beds. Thank you. What was that? Hey! Those friggin' pelicans are everywhere! Super near the swamp again. The hell was that? Oh, that's Ceratosaurus. We don't want to be near that. That's spooky. That's spooky times. But we do have to get going, so we might as well check them out. You know, to tame Ceratosaurus, you gotta make them drunk on blood. And they're just like really angry uh, vampires. Ruby's Bino said no. You're not gonna check out this Ratosaurus. We are going to fight right now and you are going to lose. Alright, let's get out of here guys. We gotta get online. And if you enjoy this kind of thing, we can we can do it more often. I find it really funny. <laughs> Chaotic but funny. Well it's not gonna be fun. I'm not I don't have anything to fight with. And that's fine. I'll just click through. You know how often people crash in there? Like, a lot. Yeah, I'll tweak it. I mean, it's the first time I'm using this mod, so... It's understandable that some of that stuff might be a bit too expensive, but the good news is we're gonna um, we're gonna be going for like six hours. <laughs> yeah, no more auto clicking for you, Austin. <laughs> All of Lefty's point rations. I tried so hard to get Lefty working for today, and it just wasn't working out. Well, I mean, the way to get points is just to watch. So you have a way to get points, it's just, are you willing to watch? <laughs> as far as I know, that's the only way to get points. But, um, no, I'll tweak the- I'll tweak the prices. What the heck is Gamba? 
Never heard of that. Huh. I'll keep it in mind. Darn, I thought I thought we actually made it that time. Interesting. Thirty out of our two thousand dollar goal. Just a reminder: you guys can see the uh, extra life link up top. That's where you can donate for my specific goal. Just keep in mind, my specific goal isn't like the whole wild card. If you want to donate directly to Studio Wild Cards page, you can do that also. Oh, yay! We're in. See. Just as effective as some random auto joiner. Honestly, the auto joiner is kind of pain. But uh, if you guys want to donate directly to the Studio Wildcards page, you can. Or if you don't care to donate to any team and you just want to donate to Extra Life directly, you can also do that as well. As a reminder, anybody who donates ten dollars or more during the stream gets entered for a chance to win a full digital art commission from me. And anybody who donates $25 or more to the stream gets a chance to win a custom handmade leather belt from me with the dragon scale pattern. So, I have some examples on my Discord, but, um, being on my Discord, I keep forgetting to do this. There you go. Yeah, I have some examples on my Discord, but, uh, any, in any case, none of this money benefits me. This is going straight to the children's hospital. So, let's try to drum up some of those donations. Uh, so you might want to- I know the integration is probably still active for you guys. You guys might want to hold off on spending anything. Because, uh, it just won't work on this. <laughs> Click here to stun lock meeps. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty crazy. Y'all did me dirty with those happy trees in a carnivore horde, though. should do friendly fists first before spawning the carnivore horde <laughs> at least gives me a warning <laughs> yeah imagine if I had an over raptor with me just imagine Bro, I don't know if you've noticed, but the moment I spawned in my cursed bed, there were a bunch of dogs and cats just waiting to murder me. So I don't... I don't think I necessarily have a way to fight back that aren't my fists. And my fists are kind of horribly outnumbered by like... 
128 paws. Thank you for the subscription. We're just taking a look around, see if we can't find any car chairs. I had a dream last night that there was a 150 car chair, like, right by our base. And that doesn't make any sense, but I got so excited about it, I actually woke myself up. And that's a literal first for me. I've never been so excited in a dream that I just woke up because of just how excited I was. I was like, let's go tame it! Let's go tame that, like, right now! And then I woke up and I realized it was a dream, and I was like, oh. Oh. Man. <laughs> Alright, uh... There it is. Won't complain about a Megatherium saddle, I needed one anyway. Let's go. I just don't get hit. Ah, five head. Why didn't I think of that? There's a person here. Hello, person. Why me? Just flying around you in a circle. I don't even know who you are. I think they're just AFK. <laughs> Dreams about games are fun. I do enjoy them quite a bit. Luckily, my games tend to be about adventure and survival and not necessarily horror. Otherwise, I would probably not enjoy those dreams a lot. Well, see, I've been looking for a card chart for weeks, like a high-level card chart, and then one spawned, but somebody else got, got it. And then, like, a day later, another one that was a lower level but still high-level spawned, and that happened literally, like, right after I went to bed for the night. I was so salty about it, but I am not giving up. I still need a high level carter, and a high level carter is what I will get. I refuse to be vanquished. Hopefully the egg that hatches will come out with stats. We're really hoping it does. <laughs> uh, but if it doesn't, I'm still probably going to keep it because it'll probably still be better than anything I have at the moment. If it comes out with sets, hopefully it's male. Because then we'll really be in business. You want to see me play Lethal Company? Is that the is that the game I've been seeing a lot? That just people in uh, in like warehouses in suits and stuff, and they're looking for monsters or something. I feel like I've seen it. If it is that, I'd, I'd, I don't know <laughs> people who are great assets to the company. Great, great assets. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm down for that, but I'll check it out. I'll check it out. If you guys want to see that, feel free to let me know. Lethal Company is fast mode, but... Better pace for quick sessions. <laughs> alright, alright. Y'all convinced me. There's so many of you that are for this game. We'll give it a shot. Maybe it can be a community night game. Ah! Oh, there were no car chars on that mountain either. There's a couple more mountains we can check, but I want to get some food and franking materials first before we go up north. Turn off the butt. Quick. Okay. 
get a team of four and be Amazon delivery workers. <laughs> Hello, Austin. Hello again, Austin. Big face. And there's Greenpeace. Boo! Can't see anything on it until you do. I, I've seen a bunch on it. Like, if, if that's your stipulation, then it's too late. I've seen a lot of clips on it. It's like all over my feed. People, people have been playing it like crazy, and it and it has been all over my feed, whether I looked for it or not. So it's a bit late for that. The nice thing about how they ha handle loading of um, of buildings is that they're a lot more staggered. So it's a bit annoyingly slow, but at the same time you're not completely lagging out because you're loading somebody's massive base, okay? Do I have Maywings in the game? No, not yet. Not on officials anyway. I know there are people that run their own modded single player games where they have Maywings in there. But I, I, even on mods, I don't use that because it's like, I'll get there eventually. Yeah, it, somebody has a mod out there to get Maywings. Same thing with Griffins. And I think Rock Drakes. Oh no, camera bug! I must commit die. It's my horse! A very nice horse. I use my horse to tame, like, everything. Well, everything within reason, I should say. I can't really say everything, but I tame a lot of things from horseback. And I'm gonna be riding horse into Overseer. People think I'm joking, but I'm serious about that. When the server gets together to do Overseer, I'm riding in there on a horse. You're not gonna catch me on a Rex. You're not gonna catch me on a Karchar. You're gonna catch me on a horse. And that's how I'm gonna beat Overseer. No, pedestrian is choosing a rex over a horse, thinking it's gonna save your life. So... If you can ride horse, ride horse. Go ahead and put away the sniper, because I don't need it right now. really need to get more oil for fuel, because I don't think there's enough fuel in the hatchery generator. Alas, I could be wrong though, so we'll check. Nope. That, that fuel runs out in 8 hours. I gotta make some more fuel. Come here, hussy.
I did warn you several times that the Chaos Creator doesn't work on officials. If you don't see the little CC down here, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Awesome. I got more oil from the um, bugs. Now I just need some hide. So see, that's the thing about it, right? Um, I was testing this mod and I couldn't get it to work. And uh, so I was in I was in chat redeeming a bunch of different things to, to test the mod, and it wasn't working. And I finally figured out how what was going wrong, and I fixed it. And suddenly it was working, and it violently fulfilled everything I had been testing all at the same time. And, uh, I ended up nearly crashing my computer, so... Please don't crash my computer. <laughs> Y'all are evil. That's what you are. Uh, I need to put the oil in the- oh, yep, there we go. I keep getting distracted. I apologize. Yeah, we'll toss this in here with this. Why not? There! Now we got some gas cooking. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Da -da -da -da. Thought somebody was trying to get my attention. Need to find, uh. Yeah, sausages mail. You're right, we did not have a vessel ready. I think Austin has a female, but I don't think he has two females, so if he's planning to raise a vessel, we probably can't ask that one, but. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm waiting until events start to breed my megatheriums. Because I don't want to do guesswork on the pregnancy timer. <laughs> Better to just do the pregnancy timer once the rates are already there. What, Austin? What is it? Austin! What is that? How did a Diplo get in there? How much do I need for a tech gen? Um, eight, I think, is what we needed to make the tech gen. Just to make it. Uh, we still gotta get the metal and the poly for it, though. Talking like he's here. I don't even know if he's still here. I'm also waiting on rates to start before I start uh, pulling eggs from my car chairs that are here currently. Because once the rates start, the nice thing is that your mating timers are lower. So if you wait until then to pull eggs, your rexes are going to be on much lower cooldown than uh, than they would be on normal rates. Oh, yay! I got, I still got my buddies! Do -do -do. 
Come on, guys. We're $20 off that first milestone. Can we get to two fifty? Can we get to two fifty in donations to Extra Life? What was I doing? I need... Oh, yeah. I need food. And I got my taming materials. Actually, it could be a good time to... Hmm. I don't know how much kibble we have left. I don't think we have a lot left, so... I'll hold off on that. I was gonna say, it could be a good time to tame a Dimetrodon, but I honestly don't know if we have enough kibble for that. I love my Dimetrodons. Everybody's just like, they're not worth it, they're not worth it. You can just make ACs. And sure, I can just make really loud, noisy ass ACs. Or I could have my Dimetrodons and have them just growl on occasion. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're making kibble. Did you pull eggs off of Eglantine? Eglantine's the one that's collecting the most eggs right now. You know, she still has a ton of eggs. I do have Kartar eggs! I did not see those before. Oh man, I feel so bad now. There were a couple people that needed Kartar eggs and I'm like, I can't find them. I legitimately- I was checking all the fridges, like, I legitimately thought I pulled all the eggs. And I looked at the... Oviraptor, but I didn't see that and I was just like... I was just like, no, I don't have any Karcher eggs. I'm sorry. Feels bad. Fun fact, Megalania eggs and Karcher eggs are actually very similarly colored. It's actually quite annoying. But they're not the same size. So that's the really big differentiator there. Okay, I got food. I got my gun. I got my sword. I'm ready to take on the world. How you got only 30, 22 kibble out of that many? I don't know, did you have enough focal chili? Or are you saying it actually did use up all 36 of those eggs? Oh, I don't know, the math ain't mathin. The math ain't mathin! I don't know what to tell you, homie. Might be the lag, I don't know. What level are you? I do need another Bronto. Very- oh, Perfect! Let's go! Gun time. I was about to say, I said, I do need another high level Bronto. If you are high level, that would be most ideal. And there he is! Perfectly high level boy.
Come on. Go down, Mr. Pronto. Oh, cool. So we can get a bus little baby before. That's awesome. Bus little baby! Be helpful. But it doesn't hurt also to just look around the ocean and see if there's a basil. Like if we can tame a female early on. That'd probably be ideal. I'll get on my Sarko and take a look. Oh. I guess Austin was recently in the ocean. I don't know, Austin, because the last couple times you looked for car charge, you didn't find any either, and then somebody else found a really good one. So, with that kind of luck, maybe we'll find something. Hell yeah. Look at that big beefy boy. Gonna be a great addition. No, 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 no. All right. Well, what else did I say I was gonna look for? Um. Possible. Brain works in the- what is this? What is this? Somebody really filled in a hole in our pillars? Cynthia! I expected better of you! Man. People gotta be like that. Why they gotta be like that? I need to get the scuba gear. And we'll go and take a look around on the circle, see if there's anything promising. I need what I need scuba 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 I need scuba I lose track of my train of thought so quickly it's unbelievable it's like ADHD is a superpower and I'm like mm. <laughs> if my superpower were immediately forgetting everything I'm doing constantly then I yes I guess so I guess it is uh scuba 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 oh all the scuba's gone no Oh, it's at the pen? Okay. Where did I park my Rineo? 
That's a good question. One that thankfully I do consistently enough to know the answer for. Her. I love the sound of the ocean. I grew up all, in all sorts of places, but one of the several places I spent more than a little bit of time on was in Puerto Rico, which is where most of my family is. And hearing the ocean was not an unfamiliar sound. It's also just like the air there is different, you know? I mean, obviously you have areas of the city where it's just really smoggy and stuff. But it's also like the island air itself is like fresher, cooler, I guess. It still gets really hot over there, don't get me wrong. But I never know where this freaking thing is. Is it over here? I think I passed it. No, maybe it's over here. I really need to put a waypoint here. I, I almost never find it. Even when I'm riding on water tames that I just took out of there, I'm like, huh, where is? I was like, where's Sausage? I left him up here. <laughs> there he is. He's down there. He's down below. I'm missing my flippers. That's okay, though. I feel like I'm forgetting something again. But that's okay. Now where is my Sarko? Oh, it's all the way down there. Do you want to just- I mean, I don't have any kibble on me. Do you want to just start with that and try to find another one? Or do you want to just keep looking for now? Okay, well, I don't have any kibble on me, but uh, I can go back and get a uh, sheep. We have a spare sheep. Otherwise, I think they eat a lot of kibble. Da, 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 da. 
A crossbow. Oh, you know, that would have been a smart... That would have been a smart choice on my part. Yes, to bring a crossbow. Uh, I think I'm just, like, <laughs> brain dead from the amount of exiting I've done these past few days. Alright, let me go get this guy some food. Fun fact! Did you know Rhineos can swim? And they're not half bad at it! I guess he has kibble. He could have told me as much. Hey, I'll just keep going and get my crossbow. Why are my arrows always missing? I swear, I've made more arrows than this. And they all disappear. I don't know if I'm just putting them in the wrong spot or... It makes me angry. I gotta go find some more flint. Are you taking my arrows?! The wildcard stream should be starting in about 50 minutes. I'm not going to be playing it with sound here because that'll just transfer to you guys. That'll be a headache. <laughs> but um, I am going to be paying attention to it. Hopefully we get some juicy details. Like I said, I'm doing Extra Life as a part of Team Wildcard this year, and uh, that's, why, that's also why we're playing Ark. So, hopefully we'll get to see some really cool stuff. <laughs> Gotta spam them with dollar donations to ask questions. <laughs> Come on. Load. 
Load, please. Load. Boing. Boing. Yoink. Arrows acquired. Now we must go! Do we have an Ickby by any chance? We do! I'll take that instead. Much more manageable. Come on. Let me off, please. I want off. Mr. Bones is wild ride. Okay, yeah, no, that's not worth anything. This damn. This damn. Come on, little guy. We're going on an adventure. A sea glide? Oh, you mean from Subnautica? Crazy. I remember when that first game the, when that game first came out. It's kinda wild how much time has passed. Ah, I forgot my freaking tank! Ah <laughs> It'd be nice if I don't die, wouldn't it? Not dying would probably be a good idea. That's an 85. That's an 80. Oh, I love this leg when you're riding a freaking speedy tame and you need to kill something for food and you just can't bite anything because you keep teleporting everywhere. It's the best. Come over here and perish. I'm going up and down and all around except where I want to bite the creature. I'm here. Perish, damn you. I need you for food. This poor guy is starving. Come on. I 
<laughs> yeah, you should probably get some sleep, Kinrai. Thank you for dropping by. <laughs> if I'm still alive, I'm conscious. We'll see how long I go. We are on the first hour of my goal of six, but my absolute minimum is three hours. So... Somebody built a very tall cage down here. We're on a square up with just about anything. I feel like Extra Life is a server text nightmare. That's a 40. That's a 35. Level 15, Mosa. I don't think we need a donkey, but not a good donkey, anyways. Kind of a cool area. I think this is by Irby Island. 
could be wrong though. Close-ish. Ooh, Mosasaur. I would, but the last Mosasaur I tamed instantly died. I don't think I have enough arrows for this guy. I mean, you, I, I have 131 arrows, and the last one took 110 arrows, but that was mostly because I had to keep chasing it and getting it back up and then shooting it. I can shoot it from the back of the ichthyosaur, so I think I'll be able to keep a constant flood of arrows going, but the issue isn't that. The issue is that once I have it down, it's got a 10 minute torpor timer. So if you want it, I'm gonna have to wait until you're done taming that basilo. The heck is that? <gasps> it's a Leo Pluridon! It's the magical Leo Pluridon, Charlie! Ow! I've never seen a Leo Pluridon before. Oh, I wanna I wanna tame that. I wanna tame a Leo. Yes, I want honey. Bring me some honey! It's the magical Leo Pluridon! Yeah, yeah, I'm swimming around. There's a lot of stuff here that needs killing though, so come over with something that can kill things, because this ichthyosaur is not it. Are any of these anglers even good? Because we do need one. 50... One of them was level 5. I know that one's worthless. <laughs> it's the magical Leo Pluridon! Knows the way to Candy Mountain! It is much like the magical Leo Pluridon. This one knows the way to Drop Mountain. I don't wanna- I only have drink arrows. I can swing my sword at him. You wanna get sorted? Take that! And that! The cool thing about Leo Pluridons is that you tame them with honey, and then... <laughs> ring ring! Hello! 
uh, you tame them and um, they uh, they give you a buff that lasts for six hours that improves the drops you get. This guy doesn't just straight up disappear. Like, don't despawn, buddy. I want to tame you. Never tamed the Leopluridon before. Crisis. We're playing the ballet of keeping water tames alive until my tribe mate can come over and help me knock it. I'm gonna make myself dizzy with the amount of circles I'm doing. But look at the Leo Pluridon! It's going. I'm on the server right now. The lag isn't too bad yet, but I have a feeling it's about to get a whole lot worse in about 30 minutes. I want to tame it so bad, I just don't have the honey for it yet. I'm waiting for my tribe mate. He's finishing up that basilo over there and then he's gonna come help me get this uh, Mosasaur down. And then by that point we should have the room to get the Leoplura done. Magical Leoplura done. And you know that six hour buff couldn't be at a better time. With extra life coming in and everything up! Spooky.
our first milestone. We're at two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty, right? Oh, two hundred and sixty. I'm sorry. Two hundred and sixty dollars. Thank you so much. As a reminder, we have a couple giveaways going. If you're in my Discord server, we have a giveaway going on all day long. It's for a copy of Ark Survival Ascended on Steam. And if you are uh, watching the stream, we're going to have a couple giveaways for Ark Survival Ascended on Steam on the stream. But also, uh, any donation of $10 or more gets you entered for a chance to win a full digital art commission by me. And uh, any donation of $25 or more will give you a chance to win a dragon scale leather belt done by my hand as well. I actually go through and I cut the leather, shape it, tool it, dye it, and then uh, seal it. And it's measured to your specifications. So it'll be a completely custom item, fits only you. I'll be pulling those winners by the end of the stream, so stay tuned. Mosa, where'd the Leo go? Oh, there he is. I was about to get really sad. I'm like, oh no, he might have despawned. <laughs> Don't despawn, Leo Pluridon. I want you, buddy. It's funny to me that Leopluridons only want honey. Yeah, he sparkles! You see that? And you can ride him without a saddle, but the thing is, he's not a permanent tame. You tame him with honey, and then you can ride him for about 30 minutes, and then he'll despawn. But the buff that he gives you lasts for 6 hours. So after this, I'm probably gonna go into some caves and, uh... Try to use up that buff.
Pridemate's done taming that Basilo, so hopefully he'll be here soon. Bring some honey, please! <laughs> I'm just keeping them busy. I gotta keep going in circles and keep them from killing me, but I'm trying to see if I can kill some anglerfish while I do that. Because these guys are annoying. But that mostly takes literally one bite of me and it hurts like a hacker. So. Uh. We've reached our first milestone. Our next milestone is at 500, guys. Let's try to get that number up. Remember, you can win some awesome prizes for donations 10 or above or 25 or above. Ten dollars and up in donation will enter you for a chance to win a full digital art commission for me. Twenty-five dollars and up will also enter you for a chance to win a custom leather belt. We also have another giveaway going on in the Discord as well if you want to be a part of that discussion. All this money is going directly to the hospitals. I benefit- I do not benefit from this at all. I, I do not benefit, sorry, from this at all. It goes to John Hopkins Hospital. Children's Hospital.
And these anglerfish are just not going. Ichthy probably just doesn't do enough damage to outdo the healing. Oh, he is looking pretty beat up. The Leo is level five, yes. Perish! Get him! I killed one angler and another one appeared. Get out of here! I need your angler business. I'm trying to get rid of you guys. I thought I crashed. Where's my homie at?
Hell yeah, I'm 6k out. Take the Sarko, it's faster! Or a Rinio, I guess, since Rinios can swim, but the stand might not last. Well, I'm going to get this guy started then. I found the 145 Mosa. I'll pop the cartridge once the raids are live. But me and my buddy want to tame this. I'm in a bad spot. It's uh male, I think. Leo, why? Man, Leo's gone. Stupid thing got lagged in front of me and took the arrow. I can still get this thing.
Okay, how did I hit my fish? How did I hit my fish? That was just very poor timing. Yep. <laughs> Mistakes were definitely made. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to save that Megalodon, but I'm gonna try! I do not know the keybind for that whistle. I kind of want to get this guy down first. <sighs> He's close, I can feel it. Let's go get that Megalo before it dies. Oh my god, this lag. Well, if I can find your body, I will gladly get it. However, I don't freaking know where we ended up going. I'm a little lost. Uh, second. What? That's in danger. You? Oh no! Eh. Come on! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That way. Can you bite something, please?
over here and perish. Go get your bag. Or find it. I don't know where it is. Oh, this bug just went up here. Take this megaloton. <laughs> or that. There you go. Problem is, I think the most I ate your body, and I'm not sure where your bag is as a result, which is a big problem here. I'm hearing that extra life on wild cards side is cancelled. Which let me just double check that. I don't see- yeah, no, I don't see any can official cancellation, so... Looks like they're just running a little bit late. It would be... really bad form for them to cancel at this point, so... People are just memeing. Um... Oh, did you find it? Awesome. Here, take your Megalodon. Let's go. No, nope, that's a specimen implant. I don't need that, but I picked it up anyways. Uh, you can take care of the Mosasaur. I'm gonna move this back and start getting the eggs ready. Just look for the tranked out Mosasaur. Oh, did yours shatter? It should be under Thames in progress. Should be. We're at 3.6 rates now.
At least, if the chat's correct, that's what we're at. <laughs> I'll check in a moment, just need to get this guy back to safety. Fortunately, ichthyosaurs are very good snacks to most of the ocean. Alright, so the ARC stream should be live now. If you guys want to check that out, uh, I have the links in my Discord announcement, but I believe it's twitch.tv slash survive the ARC, all one word. Um, and you'll be able to see them play like office games and talk about ARC stuff and such. I will be, of course, continuing to stream as well. We're all raising money for the kids. So remember, all the money donated to me goes straight to Wildcard's goal as well and goes to local hospitals. In my case, John Hopkins Hospital. Um, but if you don't want to donate to me, you want to donate to Wildcard directly instead, just go to Team Wildcard's Extra Life page and you can do that as well. Extra Life as an organization as well is constantly accepting donations all throughout the year. So if you just want to donate to a good cause in general, you don't have to do it specifically today, but you can always come back to Extra Life later to donate. Now all these donations add up to increase rates on officials, which is where I'm on. I'm on official servers right now. So the more money we raise, the better things get for everybody on the server. Additionally, on my behalf, this is me running these giveaways. Uh, I am giving away an Ark Survival, Evol uh, Ark Survival Ascended game key on Discord. I'm also giving away two game keys and we're going to start drawing for the first game key in a few minutes here um on stream but additionally we have two more giveaways for donors if you donate at least ten dollars you will be entered for a chance to win a uh full digital art full color digital art commission from me and if you donate 25 dollars or more you'll be entered to win a custom leather belt that is a physical item that i will custom make for you it's going to be sized appropriately cut uh, shaped, tooled, so it has dragon scales on it, dyed and colored to your specifications. Uh, so it'll be a completely custom item just for you. You can enter to win that by donating 25 or more dollars. And yes, if you donate 25 or more, you also get entered for the artwork, so... Basically two chances to win something fun. I think everybody's just memeing again, which is fine, but I'll check in a minute. Just need to get this guy to safety.
Hi guys. Thank you for dropping by. All right, we're gonna take a brief break here because it's been about two hours and 11 minutes. I need to stretch and get some lunch in my tummy. Uh, so we're gonna take a 15 minute break, 15 to 20 maybe, depending on what I find for food. And then we'll be right back and I'll get you guys updated on what's going on. So see you guys in 15.
All right, and we're back. I just set up a giveaway so you guys can enter. To enter the giveaway, you type in uh, hashtag survivor in the chat, and uh, you'll get an opportunity to win a game key for Ark Survival Ascended. So if you're interested in trying the game, now's your chance. We're gonna close that giveaway in a few minutes and draw a winner. But don't worry, there'll be another giveaway soon. So if you miss out on this one, stay tuned because there will be more. Alright. Let's go ahead and put these eggs out. I'm told the rates have taken. I'm gonna double check that here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Server rates are currently on officials 3.6. For taming, hatching, harvesting, and everything else. So, 3.6, that's a good start. It seems that the max might be six times. I have not double checked that, but it's, again, I'm having a hard time running both streams at the same time. <laughs> Let's put this Karcha egg out and get these Rexes hatched. I cooked it down as much as I could, so it's still gonna be a couple hours for the Karcha egg, I think. But... Here's hoping... Yeah, it's gonna be two hours, so we can get these Rexes out the way first. Minutes! minutes everything should be at four minutes yep so I know I cooked them down to more or less the same I'm just gonna get cramped real quick And I'm gonna need to get these guys bred, but let's get the sheep going first. Want more sheepies. Ladies are still unmating. Yes, they are. You guys here, I'm gonna get to carry you later. Put my horses to mate too. Do you want more baby horses? Get the other ones. Bronza! Bronza! I have not popped the egg yet, it's got two hours left because I could not get it cooked down as much as Austin's was before rates. Just fine. Got two hours. I'm currently getting these ladies taken care of. You guys do that. I'm gonna go back up. I'm hoping he hatches mail. <laughs> That'd be great. Mail with the stats would be perfect. 
The luckiest hatch I've had so far was an egg that Austin let me breed with my Rex, if I remember correctly, or that he gave me. One of the gate I think he just gave it to me. Uh, and that one popped out with, at the time, the current top stats and mutated the melee. I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky again, but... <laughs> no! <it's laughs> I'm gonna move this egg out of the way. And I'll put it down once these guys hatch. While we do that, and while we wait for that, once these guys hatch, I'll close up the uh, giveaway and do a drawing. Oh yeah, hi Kitsune. Hope you've been doing well. Lighting. Gummy worms. Okay, one more minute. Catch those guys first. I'm gonna get those babies out of there. It's not a really big egg chamber, but it does its job. Yeah. Come on, little baby. Get out of there.
better. Well, oh, that's not follow distance. That's follow distance. Get out of there! How did you manage to get stuck behind the door? That is impressive. Okay, come on. Come on, little Rexy. Because this Rex just don't care. I am alive. I am alive and eating uh, gummy worms. Maybe some food. This is why most people love extra life. The food. You're a colorful little baby, aren't you? Like some kind of mutation. Get him out of here. Oh, gotta have his follow distance. Alright, now let's get him out of here. I need you to get out of there. And last couple eggs.
Yeah, that won't end up poorly at all. While that while they're hatching, we're gonna go ahead and close this giveaway here. And let's draw our first winner. Kinetos or Ky Kinetos? I'm never sure how to say your name. <laughs> you have won! If you'd like to claim the prize, please uh, go ahead and type in exclamation point claim for me. There we go. Thank you very much. And I will get with you later about your prize. That is our first giveaway done. Our second giveaway is going to begin later. I'm going to toss this egg out here. So that can start counting down. Let's give these babies some food. For you, good for you, good for you, and some food for you. Congratulations! I'm glad to see you so happy about your prize. Uh, there. Oh, you look nice. Rick's gonna like you. White and blue. You a mutation too? I don't think so, but... No, I don't think you are. Got the HP. Workable baby. One minute on these guys, and then I gotta fly my Megatheriums out. Get them bread.
Melanie. It's nice to see you. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, these are really big eggs. Catching a couple of Rexes and a Karchar later on. Yeah, I don't usually stream this early, you are correct. But we are going for the long haul today. My goal is around six hours. We'll go further if I'm feeling all right after that. Um, and we're doing several giveaways. So just so you're aware, and you've already donated, so you're in, uh, I think you're in both giveaways right now. Uh, a donation of $10 or more gets you in for the drawing for a full color digital commission from myself. A donation of $25 or more enters you in a drawing for uh, a custom leather belt. So one of the dragon scale leather belts. You've ordered these before so I know you know what they look like. <laughs> but just for reference that is a belt that I cut from a hide and I shape and I measure out to your specifications and customize it in terms of color and buckle to your, uh, to your liking. So, if you want to get one of those really handy dandy custom items, a showpiece, so to speak, feel free to donate $25. All this money goes straight to the charity, to the hospitals that the charity support. In my case, it's John Hopkins Children's Hospital. But if you don't want to donate to me directly, that's totally fine. You can also donate on Team Wildcard's page, uh, which is where my donations count towards as well. Or you can donate to Extra Life itself on the main page. <laughs> yeah, the belt is pretty nice. We've got $260 so far. Our goal as a, from our community is $2,000. So let's see if we can't reach the second milestone. <laughs> uh, right, let's see how long you guys got. 57 minutes, so an hour more or less. And this egg has 30 minutes, 33 minutes. Throw that in a little bit deeper. And let's get these Megalanias out while we're at it. what they're doing here. <laughs> I appreciate it, Melanie. Uh, and yes, I did see your donation. Thank you so much. Let's see what timers on this. 10 minutes? Okay. Do some work around the baits for 10 minutes. I can do that. That way when we leave, these babies will have enough food to last until I can get these Megatheriums bred. And then, we can just work on raising babies until that Karchar hatches. I have Uteranus. I do have Uteranus. It's in... My, um, my main barn right now. I haven't bred them because I wasn't intending to raise UDs today. But I probably should raise at least one. Because we're going to need one for our own army. Just need to make sure these guys are fed. No twins or triplets out of these eggs. That's okay. We got six Rexes growing up for boss fights, which is nice because then we can contribute more. And of course, you know, obviously the goal is to eventually run our own boss fights, but you know. 
Oh yeah, and the horses. I should get the horses up here as well. Where is my Rineo? There he is. Guys got two hours. <laughs> the devilish butterfly. That is one word for it. Not quite a butterfly. It's more like a giant wasp or beetle, but yes, we have those two. Pain in the butt to raise. Yeah, they freak me out too. I'm with you there. I don't like them. I have one because they're useful, not because I really care for them. The other three we have are my tribe mates, who actually does like them. Mine is always easy to tell, because it's all red. You're gonna have to go out eventually. That thing's gonna be out there waiting for you. <laughs> They're thankfully not that super hard to kill. Just depends on the level and what you're fighting it with. So like obviously a pteranodon is not really an ideal way to fight it, but if you had like a a rex or even a thyla or a, even a bear I think you do just fine. I've killed them with Argies. Let's see if there's enough time left on these eggs. I could probably just take care of my Megatheriums now and have them going for when the, uh, the uh, Megalanias hatch. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, then Chris would be incorrect because uh, I have killed plenty of them with first generation creatures and wild tame creatures, so. They're scary looking, but they're not invincible. Now, Giga, yeah, run away from that. It, <laughs> you're not gonna beat 80,000 health with just like Joe Schmo Rex down the road, you know? Try to get this done really quick.
see Ossicats and Megatherium at this moment. They might be using it right now, which is totally fine. Yep, it's inside. So I'll just drop her out here. We can come back with the other one in a bit. <laughs> Giga just wants to cuddle. Yeah, Cartridge like cuddling too. Unfortunately, they don't know their own size. Like giant scaly lap dogs. That is a big dino tower. It's not my dino tower, but that is a big dino tower. Sixty-three melee points? I've never gotten that lucky on any team. Like, ever. Oh my god. Absolutely insane. And he still manages to pull 40 HP as well. How, how in the world? Like, teach me the secret. His lowest stat is literally food. I can't tame anything with less than freaking 40 food. All right, let's check, see if these Megalania hatched yet. They're four minutes up.
Alrighty. Rexies are doing really good. Can't do the Megatheriums yet, but that's okay. Megalanias are due in about a minute. What I meant to do. Close that. Close it. <laughs> I try to keep them close to the wall so I can keep better track of them. Rates are still currently three point six. Uh, I heard every $5,000 it'll go up by 0 0.2 and that the max is currently six times, but they're willing to go higher if the servers are holding up already. So not as high as previous years, but mostly due to server help. And I get it. Looks like their timers might be every 5 hours and 30 minutes for an imprint, which is cool. Because their imprints, the Rex imprints are probably going to be like 50% at these rates. Which is fine. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Sixty-three melee. Oh my god. That is disgustingly effective. That's like... Those kinds of stats are the stats you start to see when breeders start getting into mutations. Not... Not like, out the gate. <laughs> Oh, you can understand me a little better, Melanie? That's good. Oh, official rates just updated. 3.8. We are now at 3.8. You understand three-fourths of the word? That's wonderful. I'm glad to hear that you're improving. If every five thousand dollars is point two, then twenty five thousand dollars per rate. 
So we're at like what? 78,000 more or less? I may be a bit confused. Okay, that's a baby Megalania, a baby boy. What are you? A baby girl! Perfect! We need the two of you. Give me that. You can have this instead. cute they are! Look at these little babies! Ah! Baby lizards are so cute. Let's get these horses bred. Uh, baby Megalanias do still have toxin. I just have to clear out their inventory. And Ripok, also, they have modded servers now that bring the uh, Ark Edition dinos in them. And I'm so tempted to start a character there. That's so cool. They're not- they're obviously not tied to the main official server. I mean, they're still official servers, don't get me wrong, but there's like only four servers that are modded right now and they have their own name and stuff. The main servers aren't modded. Has me sad. My room is toasty. Don't worry, I got the Rexies. We're doing all right. DR.
These guys should be fun. This game is so freaking pretty. I love the updated graphics. Everybody wants to be like, ah, oh, it's just updated graphics. What's the what's the big deal? It's actually a lot more than that, but the updated graphics are definitely nice. The water effects are also very pretty. Yeah, I'm super excited for especially the community maps because I have a I'm of the opinion that community maps are just hands down prettier than most of official maps. That is my opinion. Take it or leave it. But you cannot deny Fjorder was freaking incredible. My favorite map is also Crystal Isles. Yeah, Svartalheim is really cool as well. And it's only 60% done and it looks amazing. I have that as like my personal play file when I don't want to be online. Um, tried to get it installed on my Steam Deck. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem compatible for some reason. Uh, but hopefully in the future, cross my fingers, it will be. Alright, coming to stop number one. How to head back home. Okay. needs to chill out there for a minute. I tap tap so quick. I'm not sure what that means. But thank you, I guess. <laughs> I type really I type really fast if that's what you're referring to. You mean typing on my keyboard? Yes, I, I do type pretty fast. I haven't measured my words per minute in a long time. 
Uh, but I know that they... I know the last time I did was uh, somewhere around 95 words per minute. Which is pretty fast. I've seen faster, but... I think most people average around 40-ish words per minute. I think that's the national average. But I had, like, apparently my typing speed is unusual, but the thing about my typing is that I, you know, I had keyboarding class going up, go, growing up. Apparently nobody else had this class, because anybody else I brought this up to, even people like my age from schools that I attended, are like, I didn't have that. <laughs> but, like, I legit had keyboarding class, and those lessons have stuck with me since, like, seventh grade. Yeah, see? But you know how you're... Okay, so on the QWERTY keyboard... I'm gonna nerd out a little bit here. Uh, on the QWERTY keyboard, there's a little ridge on the F and J keys. Those are called your home keys. So your... Uh, I believe that's called an index finger or pointer finger. I'm not positive. The, the first finger after your thumb. I never... I ne can never tell the freaking difference. Um, you... You get... You put those there, and then the, the other three fingers you put in a line next to those. And you're supposed to just reach for the individual keys from there, but always return to that position. And that's all I do. That's all I've done. You've had see typing classes existed in my class. In my school, it was called keyboarding class. I'm not crazy. These existed. I I had a little. They had us use a little mini game that would measure our words per minute. And my mini game had like a little robot that, when I think back to it, I think it looked kind of like Wally, -E. <laughs> but it had like a, a little robot in it that's like, we'll try to type this as fast as you can. And that's and that would be most of the class. We would do like three lessons of that. Remember the indents, but never really use them. Oh. Yeah, well, they're they're a guide. That's really yeah. You're that's all they are. They are a guide. Yes, but uh, you're supposed to. You're not supposed to use them in any meaningful way other than returning your fingers to them. That's how I type very fast. My mom drives me crazy. My mom drives me crazy because she, when I watch her type, she hunts out the keys. Like you'll see her fingers kind of hover over the home key area, but she'll individually move her hands to touch each key with her pointer finger. And I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, I type without looking at my keyboard, which confuses people because I type so fast. They wonder how I can type that fast without looking at my keyboard. And I'm just like, because I know my keys. I had keyboarding class. <laughs> Keyboarding class is also how I use the number pad. I learned how to use a number pad. Most people have like number pad attachments to their keyboard. Congratulations. There's also a keyboarding class for that. And your home key is the center key, which for my number pad is five. But it's just like... <laughs> exactly, exactly. You can type it because you recognize the keyboard. Well, that depends. Yeah, that depends on the prompt, right? So if I have a prompt that requires me to use, say, like a comma key versus a semicolon, I'll take a glance to see where that is to make sure I'm pressing the right key because all those punctuation marks are very close together. Yeah, every time I talked about this, like every time people mention my typing, I'm like, I had keyboarding class. Every single time without fail, they'd be like, what's a keyboarding class? I'm just like, I know you aren't serious with me right now. Starting to wonder how many schools were actually technology forward. Alright, little Lizzie's. You need some more, some more meats. Well, even if you mix up the keys, they would functionally still be the same keys. Oh, you gaslighting. Now I have- we have a tribe mate, Met Metanagon. 
She is using the French keyboard, which is a Azerty. And she's having a miserable time because currently Ark Survival Ascended doesn't have selectable keyboard layouts. So even though her keyboard is Azerty, functionally in the game, it's QWERTY. And so she's had to basically relearn her keyboard just to play Ark. That's, that's rough. One hour and 20 more minutes till we find out if we've got a dud. So you only play with controller. You know, that's, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I personally can't stand using controller, which is, sucks because I have the Steam Deck and though the trackpads help me be a little bit more precise, it's still like I just can't deal with Ark on a controller. <laughs> oh no! Rip your theories. I was gonna ask Osakat for a uh, theory egg. <laughs> well, hey, I call that recycling. <laughs> Waste not, want not. We get this Rineo landed before it becomes a problem. These mega -therians. Now, while those babies slowly work through that meat. Gonna go ahead and get these megatheriums bred.
She's already set. And then this one's the one that's left. Well, she's not ready to meet yet. I'll come get her later then. Watching everything slowly load in. Speaking of oil, I should go check that gas. Oh, and I should read the cartridges. That is a good reminder. All right, Hex and Grid. Time for you to give your ladies a little love. There. Are you ready to mate? You are mating currently. Great. Look at all this gas.
Perfect. This is already full. It's good. It's good. I like it, Picasso. Good Has fuel for 32 days. I don't know, guys. I don't know if that's enough fuel. I think 32 days is enough fuel. I don't think it's enough fuel. Well, now we're 15. that bag. Okay, 16 minutes on this one, 48 minutes on these, 17 minutes on this one. Speaking of waypoints, I should probably set one up for that. Make it like a sky blue kind of color. Good less of this. That can be. What did I say? What did I say? Like 48 or 49? I think I said 49. Yeah, that's that Yeah, that looks about right. Cracking that. Cracking that. Track all. Then we can. There we go. I know where it is all the time.
the helping of meat. That way. Yeah. Do the things. Mainly meat running, because I need it. Oh no. Oh, speaking of cartridge eggs, I forgot to pick up the other ones. No! No! Got a little bit too far. No! See, this is why I can't multitask. It just doesn't work. Hey, it's still there. Probably not for long. Come here, Mason! Yep. Elian, did you drop your egg? Is it here? No, nope, this one looks well and truly gone. That is a shame. But her mating interval is ridiculously long. That is also a shame. Oh no, it's still there! May as well raise a giga.
Like rate just updated. We're four times now. Speaking of, I need to pick up that egg. Oh. All these up. And drop it down. Fill an hour out. It's okay. Drop these first. My friend wanted to imprint her eggs. Goodness, don't take me off of here. Damn. Cinder, here you go. Like almost no room in here. Put these down. Three. Four. Thirty minutes each on those. These guys are a bit longer. On the RGs I'm trying to get the glacial condensed glacial color. Since most of what my tribe is going to be focusing on is colors in general, even though, you know, stats are always a nice bonus, uh, and we really like glacial, I'm trying to get these glacial RG set up.
doing. Hour 22. Two minutes. So let's head over to the Bronto. Get some berries. We're gonna need them. I forgot about that Bronto I had taming. Whoops. Is it even still alive? Damn. I don't think it is. Oh, it is! Look at that! Let me get some crops. I don't think I really need a... I don't really need a kibble for this guy. A thick boy, but he ain't that thick. I'll go ahead and take some of that. Gotta keep the snacks up. I got distracted, I forgot to get the berries!
think this is too many berries. <laughs> this might be too much berry. All these stem berries. These are not edible berries either, even though they are infinitely more useful to me. What are you doing again? Berries! Berries, 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 berries. Oh my goodness. I promise I am capable of existing. No, it doesn't seem like it, but I am in fact capable of not dying. Goodness, the delay. <laughs> Videos eat berries? Here I thought they were freaking, uh, meat eaters! No, give me those! Giving the berries to the generator! Berries go over here! We've got plenty of berries to start with. We kinda go from there. 
Uh, let's see. How y'all looking? Okay, you about to hatch. We're gonna scoop you. You are getting there. One minute. Nineteen. Thirty-one. I'll scoop you in just a minute. <laughs> Need to de shrimp. Put these away. The Argies I want to hatch at the same time if possible. And then the Anki I'm gonna save for my friend who does not have an imprint. And everything else looks like it's gonna be okay. All the other animals have food and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and take another 15 minute break, get some stretches in, get some water, a snack, uh, and I'll be back in about 15. I'm gonna also turn on our next giveaway. So if you're interested in getting a copy of Ark Survival Ascended on Steam, keep an eye out for that announcement for when the giveaway is open. And I'll see you guys in about 15 to 20. Thank you.
All right, I'm back. Ooh. It was a good stretch. Let's see here. To pick these up soon. There's my buddy old pal. As a reminder, we are currently running a giveaway for Ark Survival Ascended on Steam if you're interested in playing the game or acquiring a copy of the game. Now is your chance. <laughs> uh, just type in hashtag survivor in the chat for your chance to win uh, the game and we'll close that up in a few more minutes. Egg. One hour left on this giga egg. Thirty-eight minutes left on the Karchar egg. Fifteen minutes left on these RGs. And three minutes left on these theories. I should get on that meat run while I can. Ah, la, 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 la. Pick these up. I haven't bred it yet, no. <laughs> I've been kind of busy with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but I really should. I just haven't gotten around to it. I need to do my meat run before I get distracted with more things. Come on, Hex and Grid! That's awesome! I'm glad your RG came out. That's good. Delicious. <laughs> Pego trauma. <laughs> Pegos are out to get you. battle music, but I can't see anything! Perfect. Come here, you.
rates are currently at 4.2, I want to say. Could be mistaken. Just double checking here. Yep, 4.2. Good enough to start. Get this stuff home. Oh my god. I'm so thick. Are you wild? No. Just a random Rex. Four times experience, man. Can't pass that up. More raw meat on Hex and Grind, so... Oh, whoops, I forgot about the sheep. Rip. Rip, baby sheep. Rip the babies. Not great with sheep anyway. Thirty-two minutes left on that Karcha egg. Gives us enough time to run over. Rex and Grind! Rex and Grind! Gotta go kill! Gosh darn! My tail sword. That's somewhere like 70, 12 or something like that. That's fairly close. Fairly. That'd be good meat. I 
make it come back. Finish out hatching these eggs. Hopefully have some good luck. Looks like they got a 145 Rineo up. That's good. I'm not in the mood to get another one, but hope it works out for them. They were at 77. Somewhere around here. I hear it. Or I hear Bronto, I think. Yeah, that's a Bronto. There it is.
I'm playing a dangerous game. Oh well. I've got him about halfway it looks like. Oh no, no, I misunderstood that. That's not even halfway. I thought it was two health bars, it's just one. That was a torpor bar. <laughs> That's gonna take me a while. Best to go back. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get you tangled up in that. Just trying to get some XP, but it's really honestly better just to use a Thyla. <laughs> see what color this Renio is. Ah, it's a green one. goodness Drake if you're using if you're using another tame for Rinio you're using that Bronto you still haven't walked over you're not using the Brontos I've got you already have three man I think you're good Never. I'll never stop worrying. This is an addiction. This is an intervention for your Rinio addiction. <laughs> They're costing lives. Let me focus on hatching these eggs so I can do other things. I will not be shushed. I have an opinion and it will be voiced. buddy I don't have to go out of my way to tame a Bronto to then walk it over to a horse because the horse needs to eat it to live and my wolves are dead because of a carno when's the last time you saw me go tame a wolf huh you can't even breed these things these things kill your shit and then they contribute nothing they just 
exist! Like, how many are you gonna use at once, huh? Huh? How many are you gonna use at once? You can only fly one! You can only fly one at one time! Homie gonna tell me that my wolves and horses are a bigger problem. I am loud. Congratulations. You have a loud friend. Um, where did I put the... Where did I put the... Uh... Heck. Where did I put the... Uh... Oh, my brain ain't working. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Eggs! That's what I'm looking for. Collect something less dangerous. <laughs> Alright, uh, fairy eggs. What is this? Oh, I got an Anki egg in the fridge. That you can hatch, so you can have an imprinted Anki. We gotta do a metal run. Oh, right, I gotta get the other Megatherium. to hatch. The other two are not. Four minutes on that. 22 minutes on the card char. 40 minutes on the giga. <laughs> Alright guys, reminder, we are actively running a giveaway right now. I'm going to close it in a couple minutes here. If you want to enter for your chance to win a copy of Ark Survival Ascended, type hashtag survivor in the chat. This is our last uh, in-stream giveaway that is not donation related, so make sure you grab onto that before time runs out. Cute little guys. They're just cute little lizards. For those of you that haven't joined the Discord yet, we also have a Discord giveaway going on for the same game. That one's going to end later tonight, after stream. 
Yes, wizard lizard. seconds left on these theory eggs so I'm gonna pick these up for now as well I'll hatch them in a moment I just want to take care of the RG eggs as well just have it all at once yes Otachi is the most uh Thirty-five minutes left on the Giga. Eighteen minutes left on the Karchar. Six minutes on the RGs. <laughs> Unless rates go up, then it'll be a bit sooner. <laughs> Anybody that donates at least $10 gets entered into a raffle for a full color digital art commission from me. Anybody who donates $25 or more will also get entered into a raffle for the opportunity to win a dragon scale leather belt. This is a belt I make by hand to your measurements. It is cut, dyed, tooled, all by me. It's all done by hand. And you can shoot, you can pick out a buckle and a color. I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you with more details on that and have it shipped to you. Okay, our jets are nearly there. Ruby. Hello. Hi, Pupper. Hi, Pupper. Here. Ruby.
Poppy's a good girl. Yesterday we celebrated Luna's birthday. Luna turned eight this year. Really good pupper. She got a birthday cookie. Which she very immediately demolished. to 40 seconds on these eggs. This is close enough. Now we just need to get these guys down. Oh, did the uh, horses give birth yet? Nope. 31 minutes left on these guys. 58 left on that Megatherium. The other one's probably not ready to mate yet. These guys are juvenile! Great! I don't have a tech generator yet, so I can't really use the tech troughs to their fullest potential. But it's good that they're able to eat off a trough, because that'll make feeding them a little bit easier <laughs> than trying to take a guess out of which of like the 10 plus inventories I'm going to be dealing with has meat in it. pick this up, refresh the timer. I have a feeling it's not quite 11 minutes. I was correct. It is not quite 11 minutes. It is 17 minutes. Rip. What about you? What kind of timer you got? Oh, do people usually call you Luna? Lunatic? <laughs> Pretty funny. We joke about Luna as Luna the Lunatic because she can be pretty crazy. But Luna is my dog. I have a Scottish Terrier. And she's a sweetie pie. we're waiting for this card chart, let me go ahead and draw our next winner. Ba -ba -ba. 
Pa, 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 pa. Pa, pa, pa. It's closed. And our winner is... Akalas, go ahead and type exclamation point claim if you are here in the chat today. Hello. <laughs> that that is you. <laughs> Just type an exclamation point claim for me, please. That's okay. Exclamation point claim. You want the prize anyways. If you don't want it, I can redraw it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. All right. The bot did shoot you. I apologize. That was my mistake. But I got you down. No worries. You're good. <laughs> Alright, that does it for our game key giveaways for now. But we still have two more giveaways to go through in the stream, which we'll do at the end of the stream. Uh, and that is for top donors. So those who donate at least... $25 are entered for an opportunity to win a custom leather belt and if you donate at least $10 you have an opportunity to win a full color digital art commission from myself. If you do if you do the $25 donation you're entered for both. So if you're interested in one or the other go for it. And I see we just had another donation. Thank you so much Kinetos. Kinetos? I'm sorry. I'm not never sure how to say your name. <laughs> But thank you so much for your $125 donation. All donations that we get today are heading straight to the children's hospitals through the Children's Miracle Network in Extra Life. So thank you so much for your donations. None of this benefits me. I'm just super happy we've been able to raise what we can for the kids so far. This is awesome. We are now $115 off of our next milestone. So let's see if we can get it to that 500 Okay, guys? Twelve more minutes. Twelve more minutes for this car char. What can I do in twelve minutes? What can I do? I guess I could check the drops. So I don't think drops are affected by raids. That'd be crazy. Barely see purple ring drops though. So it's still worth getting. Well, most of the time. Always. Well, this one was pretty nice. I need a new fur chest piece. Pick me up on what? I wasn't paying attention. What was happening? What was spoken? even know what's happening anymore.
Oh, Battle Tartar for movement speed buff. Oh, I think that's what Austin used to get the uh, Artifact of the Strong. For the uh, dragon. Why are you guys up there? Get down, please! You're not supposed to be floating, babies! Babies, no float! Float, no. Babies, come. Come, babies. Get down from there. Babies! There goes one. What about the other one? There goes the other one. Yay! <laughs> Look at how fast they're growing. 6%? I love it. Sorry, babies. So I am genuinely just waiting on this car egg. We're all waiting on you, buddy! We need to know if you're born with the stats! Come on! Break that eggshell! I heard somebody whistling. I do not see them. Hmm. Suspicion. Wait, where's Cinder? Cinder? Are you still here? Oh, okay. Oh, got my male horses to load. Put him away before he gets it. Eaten. That would not be pleasant.
don't actually remember what her stats are. Let's see here. Gotta open up my arc breeder. There's my Yeah. This is this wolf is the one with 49 weight. This is the one I have with 49 weight, which is uh nice, but it's not what I need out of her. <laughs> I had a bunch of other really nice wolves, and then a, a freaking Carno came in and turned them into past tense. So. Close. I forget some of these guys are set to ignore group whistles. I put that wolf. No, I'm not sure. Oh, she's over there. Come on. Come on, little guy. There you go.
some sort of announcement here. Ah uh, yes, Extra Life. It, extra, extra Life stream is still going for uh, Studio Wildcard. They're going to be going a full 24 hours. I'll probably be going for another solid hour. There's Austin. Airdrop wolf. Five more minutes! Five more minutes and we get to see what the car char is! I don't know how you're gonna make it until three or four in the morning? Uh, I, I don't know either, buddy.
They're looking for that 235 in melee. Hopefully this thing hatches good. I'm glad I haven't had a crash yet. That has been a very nice benefit. see what prize we pull from this egg. Everybody send me your hopium right now because I have horrible luck with raising babies. They all come out with like the wrong stats or just one stat. If I just get one stat, let it be the melee. God, please just let it be the melee. Don't you put that curse on me, Ricky Bobby! Keep your devil magic to yourself. Darn it, we're just forever stuck on the slowest minutes ever. You're wondering why I keep picking it up? and are thinking that maybe I'm the one causing the egg timer to go longer? I'm not. In fact, the egg timer is just going to go at the speed it goes no matter what, which is the problem. Because of lag, even though it says like 2 minutes and 30 seconds, it's not really 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So when you pick it up and you put it back down again, what you're basically doing is forcing the timer to refresh. Otherwise, the timer would hit zero and then nothing would happen. You'd be sitting there like, oh, is it broken? Is it not hatching? No, it's just because the timer goes faster than the actual time of the game is going. And it's very annoying. Which is why I've been picking it up frequently. I want to keep on as on track as I can. Server lag is brutal today. Alright, two minutes, ten seconds.
just crashed this Drake. That's unfortunate. Last few seconds. Here's the baby. It is a male. And it's got the melee! Yay! we call you mm. not sure that we call this boy I think uh mm. Megs. Megalodons? You got Megalodons going? I mean, well, it's pretty laggy, so I'd, I'd say you still got a good chance to catch him. I can't leave this guy now, because he's not going to be able to hold stuff for a hot minute. Do need to get him out of here, though. Uh... Behavior, follow distance, lowest. Come on, buddy. Gotta think of a name for you. That's right, there you go. Oh, you're so tiny. You're literally like a mini car char. Look at you. You got the little stubby arms and everything. Oh, no, not down there. We stay up here where it's safe. March 2024 for Scorched. Wow. That's quite a distance. And it looks like rates just updated. We are now at 4.4. minutes for that egg. It's fun. I need to come up with a name for you. Call uh, you... Valiance. Yes. 
let's go ahead and export you because I just want to double check some things. Cash. Go. Right. But I thought. So he got all the stats off of mom except for the stam. It's fine. Got the 43 melee and the 32 HP. So he's going to be a beef boy. Very good beefy boy. Yes, 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 yes. Don't have... Beans. How's that going to work? It's on DLC. Microtransactions? I really need to be able to look at that stream eventually. <laughs> I'll have to rewatch it later. But my goodness, it sounds like chaos. That and the food order was wrong, but I got it and left with it over an hour ago. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, was shy. Difference of... You know, 203, 13 points. So the stamp would have been 29. Otherwise, that's fine. That's okay. Gonna be the best boy. The ultimate boy. The ultra car char. He's gonna be so good! Right, buddy? We got a $10 donation from Kun Kun. Thank you so much, Kun Kun, for your donation. We are now $105 off of our next milestone. Come on, guys. Let's get it to $500. let us get it to $500. Come on, let's end the stream on a positive note. <laughs> I mean, it's already on a positive note. But you know what I mean. On, like, the ultra-positive note. Michelinia is still doing all right. They seem to be doing fine. They seem to be doing okay. You guys are a okay. You guys are gonna be grown up by the end of today. That's for sure. Good growers. That's good though. I love Michelinias. They're cuties.
All right, guys. Okay. Doing a okay. Forty-seven more minutes here. Six more minutes here, so I better go get those mags real quick. Oh wait, the car char. I can't leave the baby. Can't leave the baby. Baby needs to eat. This is pain. Take your meats. If I am fast, I should be back. Before anything bad happens. Oh, Rinio, go! I'm not flying over to your body. I'm flying over to fetch my megatherium. Chill. <laughs> not like I can pick up your body with anything anyways. I don't think I even have like a little hut there yet. So... I don't think she's ready to mate yet, but that's unimportant at this point. I got too much stuff coming in. Arc animated on 2024! Yay! I hope that's not memeing, because I really, really, really want to see that. Been dying to watch Arc Animated. Yeah, my Megatherium. I'm breeding Megatheriums for Broodmother. had an issue there. Thank goodness I didn't. Here you go, lady. You can chill right here. I gotta go feed the car char. Good. Car char is A-OK. -okay. Now, assuming I don't get distracted, Everything should be fine. Fire should all be put out. 
Were you actually bred or no, you weren't ready to mate yet. You're still 45 minutes out. That's fine. 31 minutes for you. Four minutes for you. I'm gonna actually move you guys. Closer to the trough. gonna be pain. How am I gonna recover my tribe mate's body when I got so much going on? Ah! Eat your meats. I need you to gain weight faster. Faster, Karcha. Cryos in December! Yay! We're getting cryopods early, buddies! <laughs> I didn't say what year. <laughs> That's, that's a fair point. No extinction. Yeah, no more auto clickers. Auto clickers have been banished. Instead, you now have <laughs> to click a cancel button and then click join again. <laughs> All right. While we wait for these last few babies to come out, I'm going to take a pico at our donation page here. And I'm going to start gathering names because it is almost time to draw the winners of our donor raffles. Let's go to the page. Just an FYI, I cannot, uh, I cannot give you a... I'll give you guys an entry if I don't see your name. So if you donated as anonymous or anything like that, you're automatically out of the raffle. I apologize.
And we're getting around your last opportunity to donate for a chance to enter one of two raffles. Uh, $10 donation enters you for a chance to win a full color digital art commission from me. $25 donation also enters you to win a hand tooled leather belt also done by me. Uh, this is leather that I cut and tool and dye and paint all to your specifications uh, so that it fits you and only you. So if you're interested in that Make sure that you donate in the next, mm, let's say in the next 30 minutes. We're at 405. Thank you so much, Andrew, for your donation. We're $95 off from our next milestone. And all these donations, by the way, count towards Studio Wildcard's goal, so there'll be, uh, this will also be counting towards the rates for those of you that play ARC. How much longer do you think you'll be streaming today? Um, I'm probably gonna finish up in about 30 minutes, because I am reaching my physical limit, and I do have, uh, other things pending that are gonna take me a while to resolve. But, the actual ARC stream from Studio Wildcard is gonna continue for another 24 hours. I might stream again a bit later. Uh, or early tomorrow as they're finishing up. But uh, we're going to be taking a longer break in about 30 minutes. So 30 minutes is the closing window for any donations. So if you haven't donated yet, I have heavily considered doing so. Okay. You're a feisty little baby. And you've got the weight, so you're going to be a good working... Oh, you're twins! Twin babies! Come here! You got your mama's gray! It's nice! Oh, another set of twins! Oh, goodness! Goodness me! Goodness my! Baby twins everywhere! Oh my god, come on! Eat your berries! Eat your berries! Where dinos? Oh hi! Oh hi, Arnoji! <laughs> I haven't seen you in forever. I hope you're doing good. Uh, the dinos are doing good too. I just got a whole bunch of babies. Just had a bunch of baby horses born. Oh my goodness! So many twins. But we got. Two horses. Were these born with the weight as well? Yes, they were. Perfect. They're all females? Yep, they're all girls. <laughs> I got four girls. Oh my goodness. Ah! For those of you that just joined, hi, welcome! Thank you for raiding! I appreciate you guys being here. We're running for Extra Life right now, gathering donations uh, for sick kids. All donations that are received through the link shown on the screen right now, they go directly towards children's hospitals. Uh, in my case, my local hospital is John Hopkins uh, Children's Hospital. That's where my donations will be going towards. Uh, but my donations also count towards... Uh, Studio Wildcard's goal. If you are interested in helping, anything is appreciated. Our next milestone is $500. Uh, so far total, I think we've raised... The whole the whole team, I mean, I think has raised uh, over $150,000. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm just trying to think of the different teams I've seen already. Uh, and I'm also running donor raffles, which will be closing in about 30 minutes. Those donor raffles are, if you donate at least $10, you get entered to win a full color art commission uh, by yours truly. So, um, 
that's a digital art piece for you. And if you donate at least $25, you'll also be entered to win a handmade leather belt. This is leather that I cut by hand, tool it, dye it, uh, seal it, and send to you personally. It's fit, it's fits to your measurements. It's made specifically for you, so if you want a one-of-a-kind item, consider donating today. We are currently busy raising babies because the rates are so gosh darn high. And... It has been a chaotic mess of eggs and babies and timers. Like, my goodness. Let's see how this uh, Giga turns out. Probably won't be fantastical. But it'll be good enough. Goodness. The Mosa. Oh no, no, oh I forgot so many babies are happening. Ah! Let me pick up this egg. I can't deal with two giant babies at the same time. Uh, can you carry a stack yet? Can. This is most fortuitous. You guys also need immediate attention, though. How am I gonna pull this off? Renio. Yeah, the Renio is still there. I just told the next person can go because they're saying you're next, but you're not here. And I can't be there for you right now because I have babies. Babies everywhere. See, and this is why I've been saying I've been super lucky that I haven't crashed yet because all the servers are super full and there's like 150 people trying to get into the server and only 70 slots, you know, so I'm doing as much as I can with the time that I have. something to eat. No, I'm gonna starve to death up here and that serves no babies. We're gonna be doing donor draws very soon guys so if you want to enter for your chance to win either a digital art commission or a leather belt now's your chance. A donation of $10 puts you in the running for the artwork. A donation of $25 puts you in the running for also the belt. So you can possibly win both. Uh, you are entered for both draws, depending on your donation amount. Eat 
these potatoes. Oh, the babies are flying. The babies are flying. When is the Mosa being born? So I can try to catch it for you. I literally cannot be far away from base for long. But if I fly over really quick and put some meat on it and then fly back, maybe I can keep them alive long enough for you to get online. <laughs> Like 15 minutes. Okay, well that's 15 minutes you've got to get somehow find your way back inside. So, I'll wait until then. Hopefully by then the car chair will be a-okay. Well, I tried to see if Ross is online, but he didn't respond. <laughs> So... It's okay. I'll try to- I'll try to get over there. Time to catch the baby. Get more berries for these horses. I really want to keep the horses alive if possible. I'm not usually super uptight about my berry tames, but I really love horses and the fact that they're all females means I can uh, breed for mutations a lot faster if they all grow up. So let's hope. I was also hoping one of them would turn out male at least, at least one of them because they all have the weights that, that I want. But I've been trying to get it on a mail and it's not been successful. Uh, 
And the wolf should be born very soon as well. Just have a cycling mess of babies, don't mind me. Don't mind me as I lose my mind in a daycare full of children. 31 minutes for that, 17 minutes for that. Baby's almost got two stacks. It's not a queue. That's what I was explaining earlier. People are, were asking me about the queue system and how it works. It's not a queue. As per Dolly, she posted it in chat. It's not a queue system. You're not in line behind anybody else to get in. It works the exact same way that clicking does. It just does it automatically for you at random intervals. So it's not a continuous clicking to get in. It's just like maybe every five seconds it'll click to get in. Maybe every ten seconds it'll click to get in. Maybe it'll do five seconds the first time, ten seconds the second time, and so on and so forth. It's really inconsistent, and half the time it times out. So just click cancel whenever it asks you to go into a queue and click join again. It's If you don't care about the clicking, then... Just do it that way, and you'll probably have better luck. That's how I got in the first time. No use waiting for their queue system, because it's not a queue. It's just a random clicker that maybe you get lucky with. Which annoys me, because I would prefer like a legitimate queue at that point. And Guild Wars 2, if you can't get into a map, even if the queue is like 30 people long, you at least get the option to wait in a proper queue. You get given a place in line, so maybe you're like the 26th person in line, and every time somebody disconnects or leaves the map, you would get moved up in line until you get in. Makes more sense to me, but that's not how they instituted it, so... <laughs> Unfortunately for you, it's just a rando, maybe you'll get in. Or maybe you'll just be there all night. These berries are going fast. Gonna need to pull up more soon. On the upside, I'm pretty sure these guys are gonna be 100% imprints. The time comes for their imprints. Get some more berries. We're gonna need a whole ton of berries too for the uh, therizinosaurs. Okay, you also need to hatch soon. Soon. I'd like to hatch the Giga right now. That's gonna be a headache and a half. Soon, I'm gonna try to get the uh, most suffers. And you can have this shotgun. I don't need this immediately. I don't need this immediately. It's for this metal. But I do need to go farm metal with my tribe mate. Alright guys, $95 from our next uh our next uh, milestone. We got 14 minutes left before we finish up here and do our final drawings. So if you want to be a part of that drawing, get yourself a nice leather belt or a piece of artwork. Please donate. 
all just goes to the children's hospitals. This is all for sick kids. I do not benefit at all. Come on. Get over here. Go have that. Let me go ahead and get this list going. We're gonna draw our ten dollar tier first. So here. A wheel of names. I'm gonna see if I can get that over there so you guys can see what I have it set up. Everybody, we're going to draw in about 10 minutes, just so you guys can see, it's going to be a random name generator. If you want to get your name up here for the $10 draw, make sure you donate at least $10. So, uh, just a reminder, $10 gets you a chance to win a, uh, artwork from myself, digital art piece, full color. And $25 gives you a chance to win a custom leather belt. The leather belt is normally worth $235, so I consider it a pretty good deal for $25 donations. <laughs> All the money we gather goes straight towards children's hospitals. So please consider donating. We'll be finishing up here soon in about 10-ish minutes. I will check that. Yep, 10 minutes. And, uh, and I'll be calling names for the first draw there. And then we'll be doing the $25 draw next. Please make sure you put your Twitch username, if possible in the uh in your submission or just your name in general but if you put your name just make sure you're in chat to claim it when i call you okay luckily i recognize most of you so <laughs> hopefully this prize will make itself make its way to the right people.
22 to our due. Eight. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. I'm gonna try to fly over now and see if that baby is salvageable. And hope for the best. Okay, everything here should have enough food on it to last a couple minutes. While I fly over there. We're $95 off from our next Milestone, guys, let's try to reach that $500 for the kids before we finish up. We're gonna start doing our donor draw soon. So, if you're looking forward to one of those nice prizes, a $25 donation is all it takes to get entered for both. For both raffles. it all the way down there? That could be problematic. Oh, she sure is. All the way down. I cannot tell if she has had her child or not, but she looks fairly thick. So I'm going to assume she has not, in fact, had her child. Okay. back. Check on that in a hot minute. Gotta go back. Catch. And make Ethereum. Vassal. You made the vassals as well? Am I... Okay, who's being attacked right now? Three... I hope you left something on uh, defending itself mode. <laughs> Yeah, 53 minutes out. That's fine. Where is this attacking thing? Who's doing the attacking? Is it a piranha? Are you kidding me? Is it a piranha this whole time? Pretty sure that's what it was. Let me out. Let me out. Let me off this ride. I need to get back to my babies! Eh. 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 Oh. You're so annoying.
Oh, thank you so much, Canettos, for your donation. We're at 500, guys. We made our second milestone. Just before the finish line, too. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so awesome. I'm gonna check the babies and then we're gonna start our donor draws, okay? If I cannot identify you, remember, I cannot add you to the drawing if I cannot identify you. So if you want to be a part of that draw, make sure you put in your username or recognizable name, please. I will be contacting you through Discord as well, so keep an eye out for that. Get the babies, the lovely, lovely babies. babies. My new best buddy, you're going to be so amazing, you're going to be so incredible. Like Matchbox got in, but uh, my tribe mate's still missing, and this Equus is determined to fly forever, I guess. Her people needed her, and she has answered the call. She's off to better things now. Better things than growing on a tree platform right now. Uh, while I wait and see if my Equus will ever come down again. Let's go ahead and get those draws going. Alright! So, just making sure I got all the names on here. This is for the $10 draw. And... Let's go! Oh, Kun Kun! You win the uh, art piece. Full color digital art piece. I will get in contact with you shortly. I know who you are on Discord, thankfully. So I will get in contact with you about your prize. Let's go ahead and check here for the $25 draws. So that would be. Uh, Yes. Cool. And let's go. Congratulations, Kanetos. You win the leather belt. Leather dragon scale belt. I'll be in contact with you. I also know who you are on Discord, thankfully. <laughs> so I'll be in contact with you shortly. Uh, about your prize so we can start getting details to get your belt made but in any case guys that's gonna be where i call it for my extra live stream you are of course welcome to donate continuously through the next 24 hours but as far as our donor giveaways go this is where <laughs> this is where uh we finish up Again, you guys have been incredible. $500, that is more than I ever expected for today. So I am super happy. Maybe next year we'll even be able to hit that goal uh, of $2,000 and contribute more to the uh, 
overall goal. I am super excited, super happy, and I've already received thank you letters from the children's hospitals, which has been super awesome to see. So again, thank you guys, everybody, for watching. I'm going to log off for now. I may be streaming a little bit later. Uh, I'll keep the donation bar up for the period of the 24 hours. That link is going to be active as well, continuously, uh, as long as the team is active. So again, thank you. Thank you so, so much for your support. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye!